You ever get the feeling where something should be one way, but it turns out it's not what you expected at all? In fact, sometimes it's a lot better. Well, that's the case for today's review because it is that behind the tree. That is the Momotion Luba 2 all-wheel drive, fully autonomous lawnmower. Yes, this thing works off of satellites. Look, it's not even gonna run me over because it actually has cameras and infrared sensors on it. It uses satellites for navigation. It, it's all-wheel drive. It's got so many features built into this thing. I think it's the perfect lawnmower. Well, nothing's perfect, but almost perfect lawnmower for most people. Full disclosure, this is not a sponsored review. However, Memotion did send us this unit for evaluation, but our views and opinions are our own. Let's get to it. Okay, I probably don't have to point out to you how cool this Luba 2 looks. This has got to be the coolest looking lawnmower in the world. It really has a Formula One car style to it. On the back you have these fairly aggressive paddle rubber tires and on the front, different than the Luba 1, they have went to this Omni wheel which has these rollers so it can actually go and move laterally. This mower even has working front suspension. Why? Well, because they can articulate and maintain a nice level attitude. You'll see this is equipped with infrared sensors, not only the front, but to the side, and on top is the vision module. There are cameras on there for navigating. If you run out of satellite coverage, for instance, maybe under a tree, it will continue going until it gets that signal back. And it also works for obstacle avoidance. And that includes people and pets. On the underside, you'll see you'll have two discs with multi blades on them. They are free spinning and you get 15.7 inches of coverage. Remember, the larger coverage you have, the faster it's going to do your lawn, meaning less battery used as well. So take that into consideration if you're looking at other robot mowers, some of them only have one disc and a smaller, narrower path. They'll actually have to work basically twice as hard to do the same as what Luba 2 will do. All Luba 2s come standard with all-wheel drive, which enable this lawnmower to go up slopes of 38 degrees, which is plenty uh, for a lawnmower, that's for sure, and that nice low center of gravity. I feel like I'm talking about a car right now. Um, but if you are selecting a Luba 2, there are a couple of options that you need to pick. You need to choose what range of Luba you want, and essentially that means battery size and how much area it can mow. And there's a one, three, five, and 10,000 square meters. This is the smallest one, which is the 1,000 square meters. Now, how they calculate this is not how much it can mow on a single charge, but how much it can mow in a single day. And the next decision, what height to get, because there are two different heights. There is the standard, which gives you from one inch to 2.7 inches. Uh, that's pretty well standard. And then you have the high cut for taller grass, and that starts at 2.2 inches and goes up to four inches. So your range really goes from about a quarter of an acre on the 1,000 up to almost two and a half acres in a day on the 10,000 square meter model. Another thing that changes between models is how many zones you can create. The base 1,000 gives you 10 zones and the 10,000 gives you 60 zones, which is perfect if you have a lot of different areas to mow. In our case, we only have about 400 square meters split up into seven separate zones. If for some reason you don't wanna leave your Luba on the charging dock, often or maybe unattended, you may want to choose a model that has a larger battery capacity just so it can mow your area in a single charge. For example, in my yard, Luba will do about 85% of it before heading back to charge. It will finish off after it recharges. If I got the 3000 square meter version, I'd be able to do it all in a single charge and I could store Luba inside after that. Why would I do this? Well, I live on an exposed corner lot, and even though Luba has safeguards like GPS when it's connected, a spot for an air tag, it has an alarm that'll sound when picked up, 
and it's useless to anyone as they can't register it. But that's not going to stop anyone from grabbing it if they really want it. What I'd like to see included with Luba is some stickers and maybe some signage stating that Luba is useless to anyone that steals it. There are a ton of videos out there showing setup of the Luba, so I'm not gonna get into too much depth on it. Here's a quick overview though. Once your Luba is together, you're gonna find a place for your docking station that's flat with no obstructions. You're gonna plug it in, put together your RTK satellite antenna system. If your docking station has a clear path to the sky, you can put the RTK right beside and plug it into the dock. If not, you can place it elsewhere and plug it in separately. Download the Momotion app, select your Wi-Fi, and add your mower and RTK. Time to map. This is so easy. I'm going to delete an area just so you can see how easy it is to map. All right, I want to create an area. So ensure that's clear. Yes, okay. Okay. Now I'm going to drive it just to the edge of where I want to start. Now you should go 15 centimeters away from any walls or anything, but since there's no curbs here for it to fall off, on the other side there is, so we can actually overlap a little bit onto the driveway, even though it's a little bit of a drop, but that's going to minimize our, our trimming. All right, so I'm just gonna go right about, start about right there. I'm going to click the play. Okay, and now I'm just going to drive it along the perimeter. So you can see we're just following along here. I may speed this up just so it's a little bit quicker for you to watch. Okay, now I'm at the corner here. I'm going to turn it. I'm not going to go right on the curb. I don't want Luba to fall off the curb, but I do want to go hug fairly close. And since The curb is higher than the grass. This will just kind of like just follow along. All right. Now you can set how fast this goes. It will go faster if you want to map faster, but it's, I'm in not in a big hurry and it's more accurate. Now I've hit there, I'm going to swing it around and I want to straddle that curb a little bit again to once again, minimize our trimming on the side. Now, if the curb was too high, it's probably not going to turn out very well, but this has worked here. I'm gonna go up there and I'm just going to circle back there. We'll get two wheels on that curb again and we are gonna come back. Whoa, okay. That was a little bit of a drunk mapping there without even having any drinks. Okay, let's just turn it over. Now, at any time, if you want to go back into a map, you can edit certain spots. You don't, you don't have to completely delete. But for the sake of this experiment here, I just want to show you. Okay, so we have kind of closed off the box here. It says mapping complete. I got it. You want to, got it, and I can hit finish. Task area complete. That's it. Now I can finish or continue mapping. Now, if I want to add in a no-go zone, for instance, there is a tree here, I can actually map that and just basically do the same thing, except just go around the perimeter of the tree. That'll go as a no-go zone. But in this instance, you know, with that vision module and the infrared sensors, it'll just avoid that and just go around it. So that's it. We're going to, we're going to finish. All right. Now, if we zoom out, we can see we have a complete map. Now, one thing, this may save you some time because I didn't realize I was making areas and then trying to go to another area and then create a path. But what you do now is if you want to create a path, which we will need a path now because there is no way for it to know how to get from one area to the next. So. What we're going to do is 
we're going to create and we're going to create a channel all right so you have to be in an area we're going to hit that play button again and it says channel planning so now let's say I want this channel to go from this section so it knows how to get to the other side you'll see it's making this channel or a path now make sure there are no obstructions it is in this area now it says finish channel complete. okay and I can finish that you can just do as many areas as your Luba will allow. So you can see we have seven different areas here. This is the one we just did. And it even includes an, a sloped area. And it's really, really ruddy there, but it works flawlessly. In case you're new to robotic mowers, what they do is they micro mulch. So we saw those blades under there. They're not your typical lawnmower blades. And it's designed to take off just a little bit. And you can set it out every day, a little bit, just trimming it so every day you actually have the perfect lawn. And there's no trimmings. It all goes right back into the grass. That's why there's no catch basin or any, there's no exit chute on here at all. However, in times where your lawn might be a little bit longer, maybe it's been raining for a few days and it's gotten higher, it will do it because I set this thing up and I was so excited to use it. I didn't even do a pre-mow on here. This has been done now, but when I first used it, it was fairly long. Instead of taking off millimeters, I was taking off inches. Yes, it actually left some debris behind of the trimmings, but hey, that was to be expected, but it worked and it handled no problem. If you're going to do that though, I would check once in a while periodically uh, that it's not clogging it up underneath because there is no discharge chute area for it. Also, once in a while, when you have your Luba uh, working all the time, it's good to clean it off uh, and uh, you can hose it off, not, no, no pressure washer though. It is IPX6 rated and um, yeah, just make sure that it's free and clear of any debris underneath as well as all the sensors and cameras are clean so it has no problem navigating. Here are a couple other cool features for the Luba 2. You can access those vision module cameras. So not only just for avoiding obstacles or navigating, you can actually see where Luba is and what it's doing. Uh, also, there is so much adjustability. It's all done through the app. Height adjustability, the speed, how many times you want to do an area. You can actually go over the area two, three times if you want. Rem remember though, the more times you go or the more complex that you make it, the more battery you're gonna use. If you wanna save battery and use as little as possible, straight up and down zigzags are the best way to go for sure. Uh, speaking of zigzags, okay, you can go straight. We got some lines going here, but for once I wanna try, I've got it set to 38 degrees for an angle. So you can see it's going uh, crossways right now. But it's just trimming off just a tiny, tiny little bit. But they actually have a new feature now where you can create patterns, shapes, and even letters. So you can write like, a, you know, put a heart. You can write a name in your grass if you want. There, it actually, it sensed that there was something there because something hit the bumper. I did not create a no-go zone there. But it's so quiet. You could run this thing any time of day. You shouldn't run it at night though because it doesn't have lights on it. Now no-go zones could be flower beds, they could be swimming pools, but in this case I created a no-go zone around this area, almost kind of, kind of like a trapezoidal shape because there's a lot of utilities sticking out here and the all of my lawnmowers actually get caught up on them. So I'm just gonna avoid it. As you can see, the grass is fairly high here. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to trim that by hand. That's, you can make a no-go zone anywhere really, uh, but uh, I'm finding the small trees not necessary at all. All right, check this out. I didn't even plan this. Blue hot car, blue shirt, hot lawnmower, it all matches. Hey, that's for an upcoming review. That's the Ionic 5N, 641 horsepower and an EV, this thing is, it's crazy. But anyways, make sure to subscribe to watch that one as well. But final thoughts on this Luba 2. Well, you know what? These robot lawnmowers are not going anywhere anytime soon. It's not like these lawnmowers are going to threaten mankind and take over the world. 
it's going to make our lives easier. And that's what they're designed for. Imagine if you had, you know, a large lawn bigger than this, maybe an acre or two. And even if you like mowing the lawn, you might not have all the time in the world for it. And you might prefer to have a little extra time to do other things. Maybe you want to do some gardening. Maybe you want to do golf and you just don't have the time. Well, that's going to allow you the time to do it. It doesn't complain. If it's super hot, sweltering sun, it'll still go out and work. You know, it doesn't even take breaks other than to charge itself. I really can't wait to see what other things this company has in store because so far, I think they really nailed it for this autonomous more for sure. Uh, there's so much more to talk about on this video, but it's just getting a little bit too long. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section. I'll answer those for you. Until then, hope to see you on the next Everyday Review. Ciao.